Hello, in this session we are going to look at an example for your identity providers. Now, in the last session we looked at an introduction to identity providers. Once again, identity providers can be used when you want to uh, give access to your users who are outside of your AWS account. So basically, one option we have is we can create the IAM users within the AWS account and then we can give those users access uh, to to work with the different different services in the AWS account. However, with this, you'll have to create the users inside the AWS account. Now, if you already have your user directory, if you are if you are already managing your user accounts outside of AWS, we can give those users the necessary access to the AWS by making use of your identity providers. All right. So, something like let's say you wanna uh, implement your SSO authentication, you can make use of your identity providers for that. Now in this session, we will look at an example for that. So here is what we are going to do. So we will have an identity provider, a third party tool, and then we'll also have your AWS. So basically uh, using this identity provider, I want to authenticate to the AWS account. I won't be creating any users in the AWS account. We will already have some users in this identity provider. And uh, these users, which are there on my identity provider, they will be able to log into the AWS account. So let's say I have some users, all right. So for the sake of example, let's say I have these three users if, which are created in this identity provider. Now these three users should be able to log into the AWS account. So for this, we will be creating an IAM role and the users that I have on my identity provider, they will assume this role and they will log into the AWS account. So again, depending on the permission that you have uh, assigned to this role, the users will get the respective uh, permissions and they will be able to access services in the AWS account. So this is what we are going to do. So here I have my AWS console, all right? And the third party tool that we will be using for this example is Jump Cloud, all right? So jumpcloud.com, if you go to this link, you should be able to see this. This is one of the third party tool that you can use to central manage your user accounts, all right? So we will be having users in this jump cloud and the users which are created in the jump cloud will be able to log into the AWS cloud. So we won't be creating any users in the AWS account. Rather, we will utilize the existing users that we have in the jump cloud and allow them the necessary access to log into the AWS account. All right. Now to begin with this, you need to first create an account in the jump cloud, which is free. So you can go to this try for free and you can start filling in your details like which account do you want to associate with this so let's say i want to use this email id and then you start filling in the details okay so continue So you'll have to basically fill in all these details. Uh, no, and what is, where is your company located? So let's say just for the sake of example, continue. And you can fill in your uh, password using which you will be logging into this uh, uh, Jump Cloud platform and then agree and continue. All right, so this should create your account and it, it will send out an email notification. So over here and verify the email address and this should create your jump cloud account all right so here jump cloud will be the third party tool that we are going to use to manage our users and then these users uh, uh, we will be setting up so that the users can access the aws account so waiting for this to finish and we can skip this for now and this is what you will see when you create your jump cloud account so this is free you can go ahead and uh, uh, use this if you want to do this example as well now so let's say for example here we will have few um, users all right so let's say we'll go to users and uh, maybe for the sake of example we'll add uh, two users so let's call this as user one and then username would be let's say user one and what will be the email id associated with this user and you can set up your 
password as well, so specific, specify the initial password. And then we will create this user. All right, so this is one uh, user. So let's say we'll create another user. So let's call this as user two. And again, ideally the email ID will be unique, but just for the sake of example, I'm giving this, and then we'll specify the initial password. And then save the user okay so this is throwing me a invalid user because the email address address is already taken so let me use something else uh, all right so there i have my user created all right so we'll save this so we have two users so like this you will have um, uh, different different users for for your account so basically you will be um, um, managing different different users over here now these users so now what the the use case is now we won't do want to create any users in the aws account all right so we want these existing users that we have which are outside of aws to access my AWS console, uh, they should be they should have the necessary access to the AWS account. All right. So to begin with that, first you will need to specify which application do you want to access. So from this jump cloud, you can go to SSO and you st you start setting up your application. So here click on get started and which is the application you want to access. So you can search for AWS and here you can see these are the different different options. In our case, we are going to use IAM, so we will select IAM. So here, click on configure. So we'll select that, click on configure, and you can start filling in the details. All right, so let's call this as identity provider demo you can give a description and if you want to change your logo you can change your own custom logo if you want i'll go with the default whatever you have and then click on activate all right so we are going to use this sso so click on continue and this should add the application for us now there are more configurations that we will have to do once you're done um, adding the application you can click on this checkbox and here you see this export metadata we will be needing this so click on this which will download a xml file for us all right so an xml file will be downloaded i'll show you where we can use this now once you're done adding this application you can again click on that application and there are a few more configurations that you will have to do all right, so here under SSO, if you can scroll down, you should be able to see this constant attributes. Under constant attributes, you should be able to see this. So now, this is basically expecting us to provide the role. So remember, I told you we will be creating an IAM role. So this identity provider is basically now expecting for the users for the AWS application, what role do you want to associate with the identity provider users? All right, so we will need to create a role. So basically this is expecting two things. One is your role and also an identity provider. All right, so in the AWS account, now we will have to create an identity provider first. So we'll go to the IAM service and we will start creating an identity provider. So here we'll go to identity providers and we'll add an identity provider. So what authentication, what type of identity provider you're going to use, SAML or OpenID Connect. So we are going to use SAML. You can give a name. So let's call this as Jump Cloud. You can give whatever you want. This is user defined. 
So let's say jump cloud and the metadata. So remember the XML file that you downloaded, you will need to provide that over here. All right. So I'll upload the XML file that you have. So this is the XML file I've downloaded. We will give that. All right. And then if you want to add a tag, you can add a tag as well. So let's call this as jump cloud and click on add provider. So this should create your identity provider. So basically I'm telling my AWS that, you know, uh, I want to use this jump cloud as my identity provider. Now, once you're done creating the identity providers, you will need to um, assign the permissions, the IAM role. So we'll go back to the roles and we will create a new role for this. So create role and uh, under this, we are going to use the SAML because the identity provider we have created, the type we have selected is SAML. So we will go with your SAML. And sure, you should be able to see the identity provider that we created and then what type of access you want to allow. So you want to give only programmatic access like CLI, SDKs and API access or both your console access, the UI access. So we'll give both. Okay. And then click on next then the permissions so once my users from identity from jump cloud when they log into the aws account what access do they get all right so let's say we will give ec2 full access just for the sake of example next we'll give a name for this so let's say this is the role for idp and then the description and we will create this role so this should create the role for us so now we have the role created in the aws account now we will need to provide this information this arn of the role and the arn of the identity provider in my jump cloud all right so you can get that information from here so when you click on the role sure you can see the arn we will take that comma the role of the arn of your identity provider so we'll go to the identity provider over here this is my identity provider that we created and we'll take this yeah all right so we will copy this information and we will go back to our jump cloud and here you just replace that with the values that we have created and click on save that should give my um, application the necessary access once you've done this you also have the option of uh, you will need to basically map this with your users remember we have only created the users we haven't uh, mapped the application yet all right so um, again here we can make use of your groups so what are groups groups are nothing but your collection of users so user management of your users so let's call this as uh, AWS users and we'll give a description to this and then you can add your users so let's say I want these two users part of the group and then the application so what application do you want to give access to so I want to give access to this application and then click on save waiting for this to be completed and that is done now there's one last thing that we will have to do which is uh, defining the necessary permissions for the users all right so let's say i want this user one to log into my aws account all right so under this if you scroll down you should be able to see this custom attributes now here we will need to add this information okay at the user level as well so you can give a name whatever you want so let's say user one details and we will just give the um, role arn and the identity provider arn okay, so this and click on save and this should complete your setup all right so once again what did we do we created a jump cloud account and in the jump cloud account we have created a couple of users 
for this couple of users we have added an application which is on AWS and then in the AWS account we have created an identity provider and for this identity provider we have created a role which basically defines all the necessary permissions then we have taken the ARN of the role and the identity provider and we have defined that in this application so under the application if you go to the SSO under your constant attributes the second one we just give the value and then um, we add this application to the user so we created a group and then we added the users to the group and then we also added the application and then at the user level we have again uh, given the uh, role ARN and the uh, identity provider ARN so under this custom attributes we gave it a name and the value that should complete the setup now how do we log in to the AWS account from this um, identity provider so if you go back to this SSO where we have added our application if you click on this we should be able to see a URL so under this SSO you should be able to find a IDP URL which is nothing but your identity provider URL so now as an uh, jump cloud user as a user of this identity provider we can use this URL yes I'll go to this URL and this will take me to my jump cloud login page all right so whatever identity provider that you are using so here we will give the email address of the user that we have created so this was the email address that we created and then the password for this user all right so we will give the password and then SSO login account stage okay I think uh, I think one minute let me check this uh, it is staged so activate okay so we are activating the user all right so my user is active all right so uh, the user was staged it was not active so this uh, jump cloud policy is scheduled to activate the user accounts but we went ahead and activated the account now let's try this sso login and you will see that from my jump cloud i will be able to log into the aws console so all right so now what we did was we gave the login credentials of my jump cloud user all right and because of the role and identity provider that we have created we are able to log into the aws account and here you can clearly see it says this is a federated user that is nothing but we are using an identity provider over here we are using identities which are outside of aws all right so that is what we are using here to log into the aws account so this is how your identity providers work so instead of having to create the users in your AWS account, you can utilize your existing user identities to log into your AWS account. And then depending on the permissions that you have assigned, so if I try accessing the IAM service, it will not work because we have given this role uh, access only to the EC2 service. So you can see this will not work, but I will be able to see my EC2 resources. That's basically how you can make use of your identity provider. Again, here we are making use of your IAM role, which is providing the temporary credentials. So identity providers is utilizing the IAM role to uh, generate temporary credentials and use that to authenticate to the AWS account. That's all for this session. Thank you. Once again, before you leave, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And if you like the video, leave a like and please share the video.